Right, uh, welcome back to the RMFC YouTube channel. Uh, it's just me today. Um, so we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, so instead of doing our normal, you know, match reactions, uh, we're going to be looking more tactical. Um, I'm going to try and answer the question, uh, how do we deal with the loss of Sam Morsi? Um, so, yeah, uh, let's jump into it. So, uh, as you can see, this is, uh, you know, a tactical board. Um, shouldn't need to explain that. Um, and, you know, my first my first kind of solution to the problem of not having Sam Morsi uh, was to switch the system uh, and go to, to a four at the back of 4-3-3. Three, three. Um, now, you know, with that, you'd, you'd be bringing in Hayden Hackney. Um, you know, he's, he's young, but give him the minutes. Um, yeah, I mean, ideally, you'd want you'd want Dale Fry in there, um, probably over Paddy McNair, shift him into midfield. But Fry's injured at the moment, and we don't know when he's going to be back. So um, you do what you can. So the the idea with this, you've got you know, Spence can bomb on forward because I think we all agree he's best going forward. Um, alternatively, obviously, you could have you'd have Darnell Fisher in there, um, who I have lost on the side. There he is. You have Darnell Fisher in there. He can bomb on. Uh, I've gone for Spence, um, but it's it's either or really. Um, you know, Spence can bomb on there um, when Cabano cuts inside. He can come more central, and you can kind of have Spence on the on the right, what more up top, Balati on the left. Uh, you'd have Cabano kind of in behind in that pocket. George Salvo can push on into that pocket. Uh, you probably want him to kind of link the play, him and Cabano, maybe a little bit deeper, maybe in there. Um, and to cover for, for the loss of Spence, you could probably have Paddy McNair coming out there. If you really want, you could swap Housen and Hackney around and you could drop Johnny Housen in it right back because he's played there before. Um, I'd probably prefer to put Paddy McNair because of his wide deliveries. So I'd, I'd probably stick Paddy McNair out at fullback. Uh, you know, he can push forward a bit, Bowler can push forward a bit, have him hovering about there. Uh, and stick Johnny Housen in the back line and just have Hayden Hackney shielding in there. Um, you know, see if he can do it. Um, and I think I think you know that would allow you know what more can can patrol this area. Balassi can come in from the left, uh, and Bowler can can push up. Um, the only problem you know with Bowler pushing up is that George Savile he's not that much of a defensive presence. Um, but you know I think given the task you know he can run. I, I, I think given given the task he could do it. Um, and yeah you know you could have Paddy McNair pulling out into this wide area. You know, swing in, uh, swing in across in. Where's the line gone? Yeah, you could have him just swing across in here. So Yannick Bellassi to get on the end of, Duncan Watmore to get on the end of, George Savile arriving late. You could have him playing it short into Cabano here, you can slip it maybe in there. You know, you could have it coming out wide to Spence to play into the middle. You know, there's a lot of options for creativity here. Um, you know, I think. I, th I think it's unlikely that Warnock goes with this because I think I think a lot of it really, you know, it's, it's quite attacking um, and it's a bit of a risk just kind of leaving Halston and Hall at the back because, you know, Halston's not the quickest. Um, but, you know, if needs be, you just you just hold McNair back, keep it as a flat back four with Mark Bowler down there, Hayden Hackney in between, Savile and Cabano to link it to the front line and then these three can just do their thing um so that's that's solution one um that i've come up with um and the other one let me just switch to that yeah and the other one uh is here uh solution two uh now this this keeps us in that five three two slash three five two that warnock has deployed predominantly this season um you know, again, I've gone with Fisher here on that right back, but you could you could go with Jed Spence. You know, I don't think it really matters. Um, uh, and this one hinges. Um, you know, I'm bringing in Hayden Colton um, to replace Sam Morsi. You come in ideally on the left of this midfield three, um, and that would that would allow. You know, I'm bringing in ne ne Neymar here, Marvin Johnson. Uh, stick him in. He can bomb on. He can bomb on forward. You know, use that that wicked delivery that's seen him. You know get several assists earlier on in the season and when he does that Hayden Colton can pull out to the left Bowler can pull out to the left and Housen can drop in there yeah I, I think I prefer it if Hayden Colton pulled out pulled out to the left wing 
and just kind of covered that area. But you know, there, there's options here. Um, there's options, Dom. Um, again, when Fisher gets forward, you know, you could have McNair come out in there. You could probably have Savile come out in there, but I prefer for him to stay central, really, and kind of come in between Watmore and Balassi, um, who are up there as split strikers. Um, so, you know, it makes it harder for the defenders to mark him, really, because they can use their movement. Balassi, he can come short, he can run in behind, he can pull out wide. Um, and combine with Marvin Johnson. What more the same on the right? You know, he can come short. He can he can beat a man. You know, we've, well we've seen he can beat a man with that goal against Huddersfield. Um, you know, and he can he can do a lot of things up there. And I, I think you know those two up there. Alternatively, obviously, you could have uh, you have Tuber Akpom coming in. Uh, I think he could do a job in there. Um, you could have Fletcher or Britt, but they're probably leaving, so I maybe wouldn't. Again, obviously, you would want. Del Fry or, or Cav in there, but again, they're injured. We don't know when they're coming back. Um, but, you know, the preferred one would be Grant Hall in there, Del Fry, uh, you know, you have Grant Hall on the left, Del Fry in the centre, or the other way around. Uh, and then you could take, you know, Marvin Johnson off maybe, or. Yeah, I think you just want Dale Fry in there, ideally. Or you could bring Tav into the midfield. You know, he's, he's proved that he can play as a box-to-box uh, midfielder. Um, you know, and again, this allows Paddy McNair to, to drive forward as he does so well from the back. That's, that's one of the problems with the 4-3-3. There's less chance of you know him being able to push forward. But, but in this five at the back, he can push on. Houston can drop into cover. Um, yeah, uh, you know, you'd want, as I said earlier, George Savile to come up there. Um, maybe late on in the game, say, say we're behind. You know, you want us to pull this shape really, get this defence pushed forward. Uh, Paddy McNair, you know, George, George Savile pulling out to the left. Paddy McNair coming up into that midfield three. Darnell Fisher getting forward. Um, kind of Balassi coming central. What more coming to the right? Eat all, all the other way around. You know, Johnson come out onto that left, uh, and we can set up in a kind of four-two-four if needs be. Um, I think that that would be quite effective. Um, yeah, I think it, I think it just you know there's just a lot of options really. Um, you know, like I said, you know you could play Mendes Lang probably as that split striker instead of Watmore. Probably stick him up there. Uh, you know, who else have we got on here? Cabano, of course. Cabano could definitely come in here. Um, you know, he offers he'd offer more kind of dropping into, you know, he wouldn't offer as much counter-attack for as, as Mendes, Lang or Balassi or what more, but if you want someone to drop in and link the play, you know, he's your man, really. Um, yeah, but that's that's um, that's it. That's, you know, it's, it's a short one, but that's the two two options I've got, really, um, for how to, to deal with the loss of Sam Morsi. Um, you know, it would be interesting to see what Warnock does. Um, obviously, we've already had the Barnsley game by the time this goes out. Um, you know, but it, it'll just be, you know, be interesting to see what he does. You know, if you're watching Neil, which probably isn't, uh, but if you are, little option for you there, mate. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, personally, I'd, I'd stick with the five at the back. I think, I think that's probably the, the safer option. I think that's probably the one he'll go for. Whether he brings in Colson, we'll see. I'd like to see Hayden Hackney given a chance. Um, yeah, and you know, why not why not stick Josh Coburn up top? I don't have his number. I wasn't planning to talk about this, but stick Josh Coburn in there, why not? You know? Take take Mendes Lang off and play Josh Coburn up top with Balassi. You know? I don't I don't know how he plays really. I, I haven't watched much of him, but Right. Um yeah, but thanks for watching. Um hope you've enjoyed. Um if you have, you know, stick a like on that. Uh, hit subscribe. I don't know what I'm doing really. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, and I'll see you whenever. Um, bye.